All right. Um, the second poem I'm going to do. Thank you. Um, I wrote this, and it, it kind of takes place um, post Civil War. So I kind of wanted to touch a little bit on how it was uh, coming up for uh, our people um, in those times. And I came up with the title actually before I came up with the poem. Um, so it's called Dying Twice and Once Again. And I kind of kind of asked myself a question, is, is it possible to be um, dead and be alive at the same time? Um, so I kind of analyzed the title, Dying Twice and Once Again. I'm like, how can you die three times? Like, how is that possible? Um, so I kind of came to the conclusion that um, back then, um, being colored, you weren't seen as an actual human being. Like, we were actually seen as one third of a man. So, you know, even, even to be walking around and to be considered invisible or um, people weren't paying attention to you or treated in the way that we were treated, um, it's kind of a sense of um, not living, not existing, you know, just kind of being there. Um, the second part is that even in those times that the laws were not written with us in mind, so anyone can do anything to you, and those who are doing the wrong doing, um, the law didn't apply to them because there was no law to begin with. So in a sense, you're kind of dead um, there also. And the second, I'm sorry, the, the final death came from um, those actually doing the killing. So I want to share that poem with you guys, and it's called Dying Twice and Once Again, and uh, here it is. The Grim Reaper visits us daily around here. Sometimes one, two, three times a day. Colored folks know a lot about death. We are guilty of murder too. You see, we kill them with kindness and they turn around and kill us with violence. With a grin bigger than Texas. And pierces my heart with a brand iron that reads, You're mine now. Every smile don't mean the same thing. But I'm smart, you see. I stay woke, awaiting his arrival. He sweeps in quicker than a frog's tongue to a fly. He creeps in like a spider on all eight hinds, hiding never revealing himself to whomever he pleases. If you're not careful, he'll croak like that frog after he had his last supper. If he should ever seeketh me, I'll blast that Mr. Reaper right off his feet. R.I.P. to Mr. Reaper, the dream killer, the pyramid schemer, the plot filler, this dying flower has spoken. I speak for myself. I speak life. Speech impediment droning, a squeaky whisper. I speak. I speak. I found life in you. Thank you, guys.